everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing wonderful so as promised I'm gonna be putting on the foundation from Doris Michaels I do have the powder from her and I'm going to be putting on um, two lipsticks which I'm going to be sharing with you guys as we go along and of course I do have the lip uh, lip and eye pencil right here so I've already have done my face, I did my eyes, and I'm wearing these uh, eyelashes from Ambie Rose. I did feature these in uh, one of my videos not too long ago. And these are the crown lashes, but you know, I'm, I'm finding that they're way too long for me. I look like, um, I look kind of a drag queen-ish, you know what I mean? Like a drag queen wannabe, but um, they are still nice. I'm actually wearing them, but I mean, I can't wear them out in public because people are gonna see that I'm really, really wearing uh, lashes anyway that's besides the point uh, so I've already um, did my eyes and of course um, Beverly Hills brow pomade is what I've used um, I did the um, Maybelline master prime for the eyes and I use the NYX uh, wonder pencil just under the eyebrows as opposed to using the NW 50 or 40 concealer and um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm probably going to do a little bit of color correcting and I'm going to be using this Maybelline um, Master Cameo. Now this is in the medium shade because I know when this came out not too long ago, everybody was looking for the dark shade and of course you, you can't find the dark anywhere. But I am actually using uh, the medium shade and these are the colors. I mean, don't be afraid to go to the medium shade. And I'm going to be using um, the, this not the yellow the yellow usually make me look a little ashy but I'm going to be using the center color right here I'm probably just gonna put that in like small places uh, on my face because I think this one basically is a kind of a peachy looking color and I'm not gonna be putting this in too many places because I just like to highlight um, a few areas here and there and of course I'm going to be using the Sephora uh, number 47 brush just to blend that out a little bit so I don't have anything on my face besides washing and uh, my moisturizer that I put on so and I think I'm going to um, use this brick um, uh, color correction I'm gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes and this is from cover effects and this is just gonna help to camouflage um, the dark uh, spots under my eyes just a little bit and I'm using the same brush. Okay. So we're just gonna talk our way through this so I can tell you guys exactly what I think of the foundation. Okay, and I'm going to be using a beauty blender to put that on. So this is the foundation here. We're just gonna get right into this video, guys. Of course, the packaging is on point. I do love the packaging. It's really, really beautiful. Doris Michaels, and the color that I have is ST5. Now, one of the things I would say about makeup, makeup is a personal choice for everybody. And you can choose to go really heavy or light with your makeup. I'm one of those people who have really, really oily skin, so I don't tend to go too heavy with my foundations. And of course, it is a stick foundation, and I'm just going to be going in quite lightly. And as you can see, it really it matches my skin uh, perfectly. And of course, a beauty blender will do the trick right now. So let's just see how this is going to blend with the beauty blender. So far, so good. I'm liking the way this is blending right now. Because um, what I had done before when I was testing this foundation out, I used a brush, and the brush is not bad. But um, there were some slight streaks in it with the brush, but I always tend to go back in with the Beauty Blender and blend that out. And I think the Beauty Blender is a better choice. And so I'm just going to do a, a T on my forehead and I'm just going to make that just about it because this is a full coverage foundation, it's not a light uh, foundation and it's a cream foundation as well and it's not a matte finish, it gives you this dewy look. So if, pardon me, if you're looking for a matte foundation, this one is not for you. And I am basically going in pretty light with this foundation because I'm one of those people, as you guys know, that I don't like to cake um, makeup or foundation on my skin because my skin is very 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 oily 
So the foundation doesn't look too bad. It has a dewy finish uh, to it. Um, really nice, very, very soft, very gentle. Um, doesn't smell uh, terrible. It has a nice smell to it. And again, it's a creamy, baby soft, buttery soft kind of a foundation, stick foundation. But that's what I like. And I love the consistency of the, um, the foundation as well. So we're just gonna um, blend a little bit more under the eyes. And everything that I use on my eyes is going to be listed in the description in the description box for you guys. Sometimes when you do your videos, you just can't seem to talk, right? Anyhow, so this is the foundation done. It doesn't look too bad. Like again, it gives you um, a dewy type of a finish. It doesn't give you like a matte finish. And I've never actually wear like dewy foundations before. But I mean, this one is not bad. Not bad at all. So this is the powder we're going to be going in with right now. And I'm going to put, it's loose powder. Uh, there it is. You may think this might be a little bit light, but it really isn't. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the cover. And I think what I'm going to do is rather than using a brush, I'm going to use a beauty blender to apply this powder. Let's see how this is going to work. And this is called a high definition HD high definition press powder. I mean, the powder tend to give you um, a bit of a modifying to your face, which is not bad. So we're just gonna go in and finish blending this powder out. And I like putting on my powders with beauty blenders because it helps to absorb any sort of uh, extra oils that I do have in my face. As you can see, my forehead is a bit dewy right now. So this is gonna help to modify that just a little bit. I'm not quite sure why, you know, these things are called HD. I, I don't know why, but that's okay. They have their reasons for naming all of these products. So I'm just going to take a moment guys and I'm just going to continue to blend this powder out. So, so far so good, right? What do you guys think? Let me just get rid of this under my eyes. What is that? looking pretty good so far so we're just gonna continue to blend that out just a little bit more and I still have some powder left over in here because I didn't use all of it because you just need I think just a small amount all right so let's go do the lips in the meantime while the powder is setting so this lip pencil is called Blackberry and we are going to put this on the lips right now. I always like to use a lip balm on my lips before I put any lipstick on, whether it's a matte lipstick, whether it's a lip gloss, I always like to put this on. And so we're just going to go in now with the Blackberry lip liner. I love this lip liner. This can also be worn uh, on your eyes. And I mean, you can even wear this as a lipstick uh, on, its, on its own. So I'm going to be using two lipsticks. This one is called, um, I think it's Expresso. So we're gonna put this on the outside of the lips. And we are going to be putting on this is called Bronze Shimmer in the Center. So, and of course, I'm not gonna leave this like this, right? So I'm going to take my lip brush. And I mean, guys, I would really suggest you invest in a lip brush because a lip brush can really define the way your lips look. So I'm just gonna use my lip brush to blend this out.
okay and so there that's uh, the lip done so so far so good my friends I do like this foundation a lot because like I said in my last uh, couple of videos I really wanted to test this foundation out to see how it feels and it really really feels good on my skin it doesn't feel too thick too heavy too caked on because I went in pretty light with this foundation again it's a cream foundation dewy finish it doesn't give you a matte look the powder really basically helped to give you like it says a high definition not too glossy not too dewy type of a look um if you wish to go in a little bit heavier with the powder just to matte the face down some more you can do that but i just went in pretty lightly and this looks really really simple to me because again this is how i like to wear my foundations and my makeup anyways i do like to keep it really simple and of course i blended uh, two lipsticks together the one is called Brand Shimmer and the other one is called Espresso. Everything that I use on my face, including the eyes, is going to be listed in the description box for you guys. So let me know what you think. I do love this uh, makeup line by Doris Michaels a lot. I definitely do. And of course, I'm going to be doing, um, not doing, but of course, I'm going to be making more purchases from her. But I think it's a great line and I do love the makeup. So that's it for this makeup, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Leave me a comment in the description box. And of course, this is your dad, and I shall catch you next time. Bye.